Assalamu alaikum guys this is me Simpai Gamer Sun I'm your host Simpai we are playing the game choices of the life middle age ages now this is the early access of this game the game story is based on the choices which you guys already know I can say that why I'm playing this game is because I love <coughs> because i love this kind of choices type of game and it's really amazing that every choices have a matters the game price is 300 rupees you guys have to buy it but today they just did the you know early access and made the game free for one day trial hope you guys love it search it on the google play store the choices of live middle age it's free go it right now all right then, let's do it. Once in the distant kingdom of the early peasant woman who work in the field. She digs into the ground until she finds a vial of decorated with letters. The vial bewitches her with the beauty. The peasant woman admire him, twisting it in her hands and accidentally smash it in. Why? Soon you are born what okay soon i born so she just got later and then she got married okay you are born in the middle age in the peasant family you have 11 brothers and sister how will you make others pay attention to you line silence okay i can do the cry in the cradle or i can lie in the silence i guess lie in the silence you were born in the middle age, okay. You lie, so still that your mother does not notice you and covers you with the hair. What? It took my HP, man. The year turned out to be a bad to the harvest. Children get very li little food. Eat only your ocean. Fight with brother for food. Your brother gives you a serious thrashing. Okay, at night you wake up from the rustling outside the window. Suddenly a wrinkled hand reaches through the begins to touch the bed. Hide away, pray and tremble in the corner. You begin to peer into the darkness and realize that it was just a shadow from a tree. You have gone a little and your parents send you to work in the field with other kids. Lays, work. Okay, you work with such a diligence, dedication that you break the flow. Father is furious and beats you with such a zeal that you lose conscience. Well, Middle Ages town and Middle Ages time is really cruel. So, yeah. Oh, after the dead, I can still live a soul for the first time so many years. Where am I? Who is it? I am a lost spirit. I have been here for a long time. You know I can bring you back to life if you help me. Help? I want to live too, but I can't go back without my body. My body is in the king treasury. Help me to find it when you came back to life. Agree? Agree. The spirit guides you into the light. Wow! What the fuck, man? This is amazing. I have to restart the game, man. Okay. Return. Beginning. Okay, you were born in the Middle Ages in the peasant. You were lucky to have survived, but how long? After all, you have 11 brothers and sisters. Crawl. You crawl behind the stove and touch the pie with your hand. Now it is decorated with an inverted eight birds. Ouch. You want to crawl around the house and bite everything, but people do not pay attention to you. Do not look under their feet. If I crawl, it's gonna be fucked up. So sit in, in the corner. You sit in the corner and do not learn anything new. Oh, fuck. You are thinking about your future. It's time to learn something. Learn to walk. Learn to speak. Whoa, this is the titles I can get. 
It's an amazing game. I think I have to learn to speak. You babble in the middle of the night and scaring a superstition parents. You hear your father say an indecent word. Come up with your word. Repeat after him. Hearing this father beats you violently. <laughs> you have grown a little and play with the kids on the street. Play hide and seek. Play tag. Play tag. You are at very round. Kid decided to beat you for it. Wow. Father cuff you and send you to work in the field, but you are too lazy to plow. Drive into pull the horse by the tail. The horse kick you off and well. And did you think it was easy to survive in the Middle Age? What do I get? King. Crawl. Crawl. Skill learn. Evicution. You definitely dodge feet and falling objects as they say fast footwork is the key of the success in life. Okay. Learn to walk. Congratulations. Now you have more ways to die. What do you mean? You meet a stray dog while walking near the house. Come closer. Don't move. Close up begins clear that this is dirty child on all fours. Now you have a friend. Oh, I got a friend though. Nice. You have a friend arrange an important night's tournament. Which weapon will you choose? Sword or bow and arrows? The friend did not come to the battle. Considering this your wooden sword really seem intimidating <clears throat> you have a little you grown a little and play with the kids of the street you hide so well that nobody could find you and you found only a few days later in the dying state well that's fucked up father cuff you and send you to the work in the field but you are too lazy the horse kicked the offender well. The title received a flyer. <laughs> you sprawl out the hay, recovering from the blow. Counter speckles sleep. Looks like sleeping is your calling. Your lazy cow walk into the earl's field. Wave a stick to walk by. Let it walk. The cow obey reluctantly and return crushing you at the same time, but you didn't disturb the earl. The earl call your father on the march. He will be the gone for several years. Without him, the house fall into despair. There is no way to pay the rent. Go wherever your eyes look. Eyes look toward the inn. Pick up the rope, tie the rope in the tree. Why would I do that? You see a piece of rope lying by the river. What happens if I tie the rope to the tree? You put the stick over the rope. Now the whole village rides your dodgy invention. You reach an old man, old inn. It's dirty inside. The innkeeper looks at you, questioning from the semi darkness. Order a stew, ask about the job. The innkeeper calls for him. You have an interview. The innkeeper points at the huge dirty cauldron in the middle of the kitchen. It needs to be cleaned. Pure water there and pray. You fill the cauldron with water, but for what? The cauldron still dirty. Scrap the cauldron. The dirty begins to recay. The innkeeper likes the cleaning cauldron and takes you to the work. Nice. Many visitors gather in the inn. Suddenly a mysterious stranger calls you. Come up. You go to the table where the stranger sits. A hood partially covered his face. He offers you to sit down. So buddy, 
I see you are a young and you have enough strength. There is one job for you. Are you in business? Find out what's up. You try to find out what's the matter and you are doing it right. The locals complain about the strange sound from the cave nearby. I was hired to figure it out, but it dangerous to go alone. I need a weapon. Of course I have something. The mercenary take out the bag. You can choose a sword with a shield or loot. Okay. Item received. Sword and shield. Great choice if you know how to use it. You move out to the inn and walk through the forest. Soon you pass by a cave. Discuss the plan. Oh, you agree that you will go first with your shield at the ready and it's not in the way. When you enter, the fireball flies up into you. The shield with the sword melt from the fireball. You throw it away. Run inside. You run inside before you stand sorcerer whispering a new spell. Fortunately, your partner stunned him immediately. There is an alchemy table and the map in the village in the cave. It is, looks like a sorcerer was looking for something in your neighborhood. Search the cave. Item received. Mysterious mushroom. On the table lay images of the sun vile and any couple... Present text, the only thing that catches your attention is mysterious mushroom. The villagers are delighted to have cuffed the sorcerer. They generously reward you, the mercenary. Wouldn't it be time to find out his name? Announce that this is your method. Ask the mercenary for your share. The mercenary point to the mysterious mushroom and say, this is your reward. On this is you and partnership. What this mushroom can do, by the way, I'm clicking, but <coughs> what this mushroom can do, how could you give me that? There's a fair village and you decided to attend, start dancing, calmly inspect everything. I think I'll go for it. You listen to the materials and laugh hurtly at the buffoon. Wow. Do you remember our agreement? How do I get to the treasury? The first get in the city, the king lives there in this castle. You go into the blacksmith's house, he will agree to take you on if you pass his test. Choose to practice, choose to the theory. Flyer. Choose to practice. The blacksmith leads you to the warehouse. The blacksmith tries to drag all the blanks. Carry one by one. You got the job done, but it looks all day. The blacksmith asks you to inflate the fur. Push slowly. You lazily fan the furs into fours until one of your brother appears in the window. You talk to your brother and told him about the mushroom. Now he offered to taste it. Kick away, brother. Taste the mushroom. He gets taste the mushroom. At first you f only feel that dry taste to the mushroom, but soon instead of the forge, you find yourself in the rainbow world. Instead of furs, you press on the belly and magical creature who smiles back. You forget about business and lay watching the magical creature around you, but suddenly a terrible dragon invades your world. Do not touch. You wake from the being doused with ice water to the cries of the blacksmith. You answer something indistinct. Soon you come to your senses and return to work. <coughs> the blacksmith asks for the cross pen hammer. Give that hammer. Cross pen hammer. What is the cross pen hammer? That's a square. Here we go, cross pen. Fine. The blacksmith accept you as an apprentice. It turns out that other candidates were not good at all. Map. Next chapter.
I think I go for the map though. Season. Beginning. Begin. Once in the distance. Okay. She digs. Okay. How about crying? Your mother takes you in her arms and breastfeeds you. Eat only your portion. You don't have enough food to grow. Okay, uh, how about pray? Okay. If I work, I die. Lays. When everyone leaves for work, you visit the fair in the village. The fair was lively. On the left, some climb pillar with their bare hands. On the right, crowd peasant waited for something. Climb the pole? I guess climb the pole. Almost at the very top, you slide down and break your neck. Wow, what the fuck? Begin. Right, Cardo. <coughs> How about fight with your brother? Your brother gives you serious rushing. God damn it. What happened if I hide? A hand grabs your brother and abruptly disappears, leaning out the window. Wow. Really? Lays when everyone leaves. Stand in the crowd. It turns out El was giving away free sweets. When they found out about it, you were crashed in the crowds. Oh, fuck, not again. This is some joke, man. This is sadistic. Okay, where am I? We are into limbo, it's somewhere between heaven and hell. Okay, you know I bring back life. Okay, okay, but then you must help me too. I agree, I agree. That's where it guides you. Crawl. Crawl. What is this skill though? Okay, key to success. How about to speak? Come up with your word. Your parents didn't understand you say, but they recognize your talent. Why hide and seek? You hide so well. Uh, fuck. Okay, how about drive the plow? You have plow all the day. You don't like the prospect of working like this all your life. You bump into teenager hiding into the bush while working in the field. Find out who it is. A barefoot teen hands you a mark coin and asks you not to give it out. Wow, look at this. A coin. If I let it walk out, what happened? The old imposes heavy fine on your family. Father is almost broke. The owl called your father on the march. He will be gone for several years. Okay. Walking through the forest, you notice a peasant hunting. Hunt with him. Inform the guard. Hunt with him. You haven't cuffed anything, but someone reports you to the guards. You are cuffed and awarded with ten lashes. Wow. Fuck you, man. Or the Lord didn't pray. How can I help? Going together will be safer. Who knows what might be happening? 
I think it's time I have to shoot. Now you definitely won't die over body dome. If you hit somebody with loot, it will certainly hurt. The mercenary enters first and barely managed to dodge the fireball that flies into him. You run into cave the next moment a sorcerer stands before you and whisper a spell. What happens if I say hello? You greet him and want to introduce yourself, but mercenary attack the sorcerer stun him. Here is a reward. Announce that this is your merit. The mercenary is furious. The mercenary challenges you to the duel. Okay, mercenary bitch. You're gonna be stun me. Agree. You are ready to teach the mercenary lesson. The duel has begun. The enemy rushes at you. Prepare to... You adopt the defensive stand. At least you think so. You have the advantage. Swing with all doom. Fast straight hit. You lung forward and stab. You injure the enemy, but he's still on his feet and ready to fight. Finish off. Oh, fuck. And do you think it was easy? Okay. Okay. Come closer. Bow. You prove to be a good marksman when you hit a friend in the eye. You don't have a friend anymore. Oh, fuck. Okay, inspect. Ask for a job. Scrub in the cauldron diligently. Scrub the cauldron. Come up. Find what's up. Okay. Choose a loot. Discuss the plan. Walk a sorcerer with loot. Say hello. Here we go. Announce that this is your merit. Agree. Defend. Swing with all duped. While you swing, you get hit twice. You injure anybody still okay. The ninjas like this manage to hit you in the stomach, but nevertheless you blow the riches the target, the mercenary fall. The hood falls away from the mercenary head. Someone from the crowd recognizes him as a bandit. You receive a solid reward for his head. What is the solid reward though? Peace in. Trademarks win. Oh, that's really pleasant. I guess I have to start with prison. Crawl. If I learn how to walk, how about learn how to speak? But hide and seek playing is cause a problem though here. See, peasant, crawl, how to walk, you meet a stray dog, well, okay, come closer, now you have a friend, sword, oh, fuck. What happens if I play tag? You run the fast, you have never been touched. Hoo-ha! 
This is what happens when you got a running skill. Find out who it is. But let it walk, man. Stroll through the village. I didn't go from there. But let's do it. You do nothing and nothing happens amazing. Calmly inspect. Ask about the job. Ask for the other job. You return to innkeeper. Okay, the innkeeper asks you to work about how many grubs you need to buy so that there is enough for everyone, for nothing to spoil. Count. You give the numbers at the random and the innkeeper believes you. As a result, there is not enough meat and too much beard. You are beaten, thrown out into the street. You are called to build a church. Help the blacksmith. Climb to the roof. Okay. You are desperate, hungry, and have no money. Beg for money. Wander through the village. Your stomach rumbles on the whole time. Okay. Your family cannot pay the church tribe. You need to work to the death. Work on the church late. Help at the mill. The work was hard, but you work in the depth. You go into the forest, find some food, eat the berries, eat the berries. You eat the ripe crow berries. You stumble on the uh, tremble ground while wandering forest. You dig it with your hand and find the bag of coins. Help the family to the inn. You visit the end, squatter the money you found. Walking through the forest, you see a wounded peasant. Come and help. There is a wolf nearby that you scare away. The peasant takes you, but he has nothing to give you. Do you remember our agreement? How do we do that? To the theory. Blackness asks you a question. When should you strike the iron while it's hot? Right. What is the iron melting point? The temperature has not yet been discovered. Right. New question of the history. Which of the ancient god has a blacksmith? Epheus, the new Fius. Wrong, you need to know your history. Blacksmith accept your apprentice, it turned out that the other candidates could not be. Okay. What is a trademark fiction? You think about how you manage your money. Open a shop. Find out how to get to the town. Peasant tell about money lender who can sell the pass to the city. Find out the price of the pass. You visit the money lender. Find out the price of the pass. The money lender named the price. This is exactly all your money. You need to go to the village outskirt at night with money to get pass. Agree? Go away. You find the money lender suspicious and return to thinking about your business. What business do you want to open? The blacksmith. You head to the blacksmith. The blacksmith took you a worthy client, was ready to negotiate when he heard about your money. Unite and work together, make a large order. You discuss an order with the blacksmith. What product do you want to the order? Weapons and armors. Item receive weapons and armors. You place in the order weapons and armors and pay with a full. A few days later, you receive the goods. A thunderstorm shower catches you to the royal road. Stand under the tree. Stick to the track. You are drenched to the skin, but you get their safe sound. You are ready to open the shop. Equip a shop. Okay, what's this? Businessman achievement unlock. For the rest of the day, you equip the house as a warehouse to put out the bun. 
badge of the street where you lay your four girls. Great job, you are one step closer become citizen. Help with sales, deal with... I can only watch. Several days, few people interested in your goods. Other ways to trading. Sell. Continue trading. You think deeply until you get a headache. You wander through the village when suddenly a stranger calls out to you. Stop. The stranger asks you how to get to the inn. Cells are still bad. Consider the old cell. Continue trading. You work hard not wanting to change anything and soon go to broke. The goods have to be sold for next to nothing. Now you are with nothing. Think about the life. Think about the life. You sit all the day, village age, look at the forest, thinking about the life. Soon you notice the lights among the trees. From behind the bushes, you see a large fire around which Sere dance fair covers you carefully bypass. You begin to bypass the Sabbath, but you are crunch branches over the entire forest, and soon you are noticed. The trees took everything you had, then you were dragged deep into the forest. Read prayers. You begin to remember the prayers against evil spirit and mutter them under your breath, but this only causes the trees to laugh. <laughs> the forest which appeared before you, her dress emits mysterious light and her hair sway without any wind. She noticed an inverted number eight on your hand. Out of fear, you can't think of anything better than you make a bow, which none of the mortals who saw me survive, but you are not merely mortal. I know. Who are you? People call me the forest witch. I live among the people until the kingdom banish me. Forest, I will let you go and even help you, but first you must look into the whirlpool. Whirlpool? The whirlpool show the past, present and future. You see the village, your house, the children in the field. And in it looks like the image from your past. You look further. You see the city on the fire. Imp dance around the of the burnt village houses. The world bull doesn't show anything else. Now you can go. Learn more. You must understand everything yourself when the time comes. After the words of the witch crying trees coming round, one of the guards you wait. What is this key? Pick up the key. Pick up the key. Don't refuse. Don't accept a blow. Remember the canals are full of dangers. To give out their alive, turn only three times. Right, left, then right. Right, left, then right. Right, left, then right. Give thanks. You want to thank the witch, but the series drag you into the forest and flee. After a few hours wandering, you notice the trees begin to grow less often. Rest. You take a break and fall asleep. When you wake up, it seems that the old dream all talk the key is still with you. Okay. You leave the forest, the city wall appears in front of you. Not far away lies a grade leading to the sewer. You rip a piece of your shirt and wrap around the branch. The torch is ready. Okay, right, left, right. You go to the sewer grid and open with a large key. Several passes lie in front. Right. You turn the right and walk further down the tunnel. You walk through the winding channel, bumping into a couple of the rats. Soon you get to the new fort. Left. You pass is literally clear, and you calmly walk the another hundred meters. Soon you begin to feel for the stench, but another fort lies ahead. Right. The passage is continue your way. 
you walk to the hundreds of meters and see the light at the end of the tunnel you open the second gate and find yourself in the city of truth rags and without penny in your pocket I will be beggar. So these are the achievement I can play, which is totally amazing, like a beggar achievement, and tradesman, blacksmith, the peasant achievement. It's totally amazing. Even I can start the beginning of my journey, the next chapter. You find yourself in the slum to the city. Let me see. You find yourself in the slum of the city. There is only no one on the street except a couple of beggars against the wall. Sit down. Look around. You are tired after the musty sewer and you sit down and rest. You got to the city even through the sewer. This is a worthy place. All that remains is to get to the castle. There you will find my body and fulfill our agreement. How can I do that? Noble townspeople are allowed to the visit castle. Try to get into the people. Okay. By order of the king, the city healer is taking a measure to the prevent plug. Take a medicine. Treatment with leeches. I think take a medicine. The herbal infusion was disgusting. A beggar from the gateway offers you where to earn a job. Okay. The beggar turned out the, to be a bugler. You agreed to a robbery. Oh, <laughs> I'm not a thief. You come upon expensive looking house and wait for darkness. Your partners pick up a door lock. Well, that's fucked up. Should I have to loot? I guess I have to loot. You are on the lookout while the burglar is doing his job. Go up to the second floor and throw me all the stuff from the window. I will catch up. Okay. You go inside. At your received two floor, around the room, you notice a book on the table. Pick up. Adam, you put the book in your bosom, suddenly you hear an old man voice. You hear the old man voice. He call his daughter. Oh, oh. <laughs> it seems that the old man believes you are his daughter and goes to bed. What the fuck? You are throwing silver and tinsel. From the window, when a guard suddenly appeared on the street, the burglar is fleeing. Go down as you came. You leave through the door, or one of the guard notices you and chases you. Okay? You run through the narrow street of the city until you hear a squeaky voice. Look around. You talking, the talking rat sit in the corner and points to the gap between the houses. You squeeze into cover and wait there until the next morning. The next day, the talking rat asks for help. Well, this is interesting. I have to play this game from restart. Then I can enjoy the game, otherwise you guys could enjoy the game. I guess that's it, that's all for now. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. We're gonna start the game again, restart. There are a lot of great achievement in this gameplay. You guys gonna be love it. It's a funny game. Also, it's a really interesting game. I hope you guys love it. Bye bye, take care, love you all. Allah Hafiz, Pakistan, Zindabad, peace.